Hey everyone, Equinox here and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. <gasps> we have met our cast of characters. We got Cloud, the edgy cool boy. We got Tifa, his childhood friend. Uh, Barrett and the group Avalanche who we tag along with to help blow shit up in order to save the planet. And we got Marlene who is a four-year-old manning the bar for some reason. Good morning, Noct. Did you sleep well? Ooh. I'm tempted. Uh, I'll keep it. Barrett's snoring kept me up. Psst. Keep it down. They'll hear you. Barrett's already edgy before. Uh, Barrett's always edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. <clears throat> Our target's the Sector 5 reactor! Head for the station first! I'm not gonna keep up that voice. I'll fill you in on the train. You'll not. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach us how to use it. I'm assuming if I hit OK, I'll explain it. Um. It'll give the whole tutorial video on how to use Materia, and I already know how to use it, so I'm just gonna say you wouldn't understand. So this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later, but you're in charge of the Materia. Not. I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Marlene. You watch the store while we're gone. <laughs> Again, Marlene with Barrett's voice. Alright, good luck! Again, why would you... Take care. Why would you put a four-year-old in charge of a bar? That seems rather irresponsible. And we are exploring Midgar a little bit. Tifa said something about upstairs, but... Oh. Ah, uh, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any good medicine in the slums like this. Oh, oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. What you buy, what you sell. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some potions and Phoenix Downs won't hurt. Let's get some... Alright, everything else we got. Thanks for your patronage! Where's this guy Tifa told us to go to? <laughs> You'll forget about it. Oh, you. Get my friend on the second floor to teach you. What are you talking about? I just walked in. You dried up old geese? You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? Uh, what is the... Like, I thought he was ragging on me for being old. And then he's saying, go rest up. Go, uh, what? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Yeah. Nosy little punk. Can I talk? Hey, hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk around here without buying something. Might be another movie. Over. What are you talking about? This is not how normal people conversate. Ah, being... oh, shit, I'm out of money. Say point just flying around. Ah, it's 
Is he- is the dog telling me how to use buttons? Ah. Huh? Finger? What the hell? <sighs> I'm the position cruiser. Call me whatever you're- call- call me whenever you're walking around confused. Press minus, and I'll put up the shine ahead a little. Jeez, you stand out even more than I do. So, so the hand is talking to him? Am I in the way? If so, press minus one more time. I'm pretty busy myself and can always come to you in need. Uh, come, come to you when you need me. If I don't show up sometimes, don't get mad. Later. All I wanted to do was pet the dog and it's given me uh, hands. What the fuck? You gotta hang in there. Your limit. Is it just really extravagant ways of telling me how to play the game? Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. I've never seen this. You go, girl. Wasn't there a save point that just flew around all willy nilly? This is the fabled save point. At a save point, you can use a tent and or select save. This is how people talk. You can also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Even if you're all wiped out, if you save, you can restart from that save point. That way, you don't have to worry when you've been wiped out. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but when you leave Midgar and you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. Shiny. That should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. Uh, what? What is this game? I'm a treasure chest! Beginners, make sure to keep an eye out for me. Is it because I never went into this... Into this area? Whenever I played this game? Let's just save a little. Let's... Get... Oh! No! No, go back in! Aha! I got all materia. You got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Retrieved, e received either. Thanks, weird guy with the orange hat. I've completely lost touch with this game because I didn't. I don't remember any of that. Maybe I just never went into that room before. This is a slum, so don't think you can stay for free. What are you gonna do? Doesn't just see- Doesn't just see the bed make you sleepy? No way. Tough guy, huh? You better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. That's the trick to being tough. Remember that, old dude. I thought I was supposed to meet someone here. Whatever. Ugh, I have no time for people. Oh? I don't know why I came in here. I just saw the lady and I wanted to talk to her, but... He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Pay no mind to the stranger who just barged into your house. Ah, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but 
I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Hmm, not here. We on a mission. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Ugh, oh, hoodlumps again. God, don't I have all the luck. You say something? I said, you say something. Now look at that. It got all empty all of a sudden. What's go- uh, what's going on? Damn! It- it's empty because of g, g guys like you! Y yikes You- uh, you. You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only- Ah, uh, damn it, I- I thought that was Barrett talking. Uh, only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. Barrett? <laughs> you lucky. Really? So, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> the hell? You're so calm. You're busting up my rhythm. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Ha! Huh. Listen to Mr. Sirius about his work. Alright, I'll tell ya. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only- we've got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. Alright, just three minutes. We're jumping off this train. Got it? Not. Come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Uh, you're the only ones that'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. Huh. It looks like you've seen this already. It's alright. Come a little closer. Uh, okay. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search for all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry. Get to the next car. Should I just start? Using the actual words. Fuck! Someone blew it! Let's go! Keep it up! Upgrade to level 2 warning. Hurry! Th uh, they're, lo they're locking the door, sir. Just run! Changing to plan 2. Alright, we clear? Not yet. They're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry. If we move off the train, car by car, we should get past it. Damn, she just decked the dude. Uh. Absolutely not.
Oh shit, no, move, move. Uh, I thought the guy stole something. Or maybe he did and I already took it back, I don't know. I hate focusing on multiple things. All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. Oh. It's waiting for me. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because... Hey, you two. There ain't no time for that. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely. I'm gonna jump. You don't care if I go first? A leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me. Just go. Yo, don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Later, you take care of the rest. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Really? That was part of the plan? Don't let your guard down till we get to, se to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse, Jesse got everything ready for us. So move it. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Uh, wasn't there something else down here? Or is it just an endless tunnel? Ugh. Oh, we can see Tifa in action, at least. Spit your silk at me. Yeah, this is a time consumer, but that's part of the charm. Any day now. There we go. You know what? No uh, random encounters and three times the speed. Now let's explore the tunnel. I was certain there was something down here. Shinra security guards are there. We gotta turn back. Was that was that really all? I thought there was like a secret materia or something I could get. Uh, whatever. Just because I'm a fan of this game doesn't mean I know everything. It doesn't even mean I know anything. This is what a time loop feels like. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. That's one damn tiny hole. You tell me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, not. What are we gonna do? 
Look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything that'll get stuck in the duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we won't be able to come back. Don't be wasting time. Never know when the Shinra will find us. They keep saying the Shinra. I guess that was, um, translation error. But yes, we're going down. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Ah! I was running for the item. Okay. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. There, that's what I was trying to do. I gotta take off the speed thing in time to watch their victory poses. There's always time to strike a pose. Going down. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, uh, I need to stop doing that. Three machine guns. That's that. Anything worthwhile over here? Nope, just an empty box full of nothing. I think I'd go up that ladder, but oh, got Wedge over here. No, this way, the reactor's up this ladder. Okay, so what about this other ladder over here? I would like to check that out. After I take down this enemy over here. Hell bubbles. Ah, oh, you put him to sleep. Last one's being stubborn. Hell bubbles. That sounds like such a non threatening, threatening name. Somehow both cute and heinous. I kind of want to get it tattooed on my knuckles. If it's making me diverge from Wedge, then this has to be a... No! Wait a minute. Retrieve potion. Wait, this... If this is the way I was supposed to go, then, uh... Ah, I don't care. I'm continuing. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, and I failed. Next time, I'll give you something better. I'll be back at the hideout in my research room working on it. Eh, don't beat yourself up, Jesse. It happens. Say so point over there. I would like. Ah, damn it. Gets me every time. Oh no. 
You can keep your hell bubbles. That's annoying. Finally! And these are common enemies. So imagine the more big boys. Let me go ahead and use that. Wait, do I need to use that? Potions work. We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Not. We're counting on you to blow up the reactor. I can do that if I can get up the ladder. There we go. We that's fun. We got reactor to blow up. I feel like something has to be up here first. I could use a little bit of a grind anyway to boost up my people. Also, it just occurred to me. I really don't need to use items to heal them. I could just use the little cheat move to power them up. But where's the sense of urgency in that? He got kicked to death, son. Come on, give me item. Give me something good. Still nothing? And I can't go... Where? Print a strike. Did you just punch a machine gun? Why not? Eh. Let me just get all the way down and then I'll turn that back off. Wait, what about over here? No? Uh, I hate when games do this. Like, they make me want to explore around and see if there's any secret items hidden nearby but then there's not and I feel like I've been bamboozled
So a point here. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Actually, let me go ahead and save in a empty spot just in case. Worst were to happen, I can have another save file to go back to. Another preemptive strike. Tentacle drain? Ew. Keep your tentacle off of me. Sephiroth. Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth. Soldier. Mockery actors. Shinra. I hate them all. Damn, man. Get a hold of yourself. You alright? Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. Ooh, could that be a mysterious past of Tifa? Wait, was I supposed to actually activate it? Nope, we're good. More fighting! No preemptive measures this time. Hey, no, bad boy. I like it better when we could get the drop on them. No, down doggy. Stop that. Bleh, 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 bleh. I'm a spastic saver. Speed things up a little bit. Nope. Ah. Ooh. It's hard to control him when he's moving at a million miles per hour. Probably need to go up here. There we go. Switch on. Ooh, hello. I've got ether, oh, and then I go battle. No. Wait. I'm, I'm still trying to figure figure all this out. I was just confirming that this power up thing not only permanently fills my limit gauge, but also heals me. Nice. 
Ooh, cross slash. Is this button? No, it's just something stupid and big and glowy. Ah. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use my permanent limit gauge just because these dogs are horny! Do cross slash! Jesse said we have to push the buttons at once. Oh, nope. No good. Let's try again. And, uh, oh. Nope. No good. Let's try again. Yeah. It would help if we do like a one, two, three type of deal, but no. What you got now? Bunch of stationary machine guns? No problem. quite the view. Well, even though you can tell it's a flat image, I, they still made it work for what they were trying to do to make it noticeable, like a noticeably high altitude. And they did a great job with that. This way. Shinner soldiers. What the hell's going on? A trap. P president Shinra. Why is the president here? Hmm. So you must... So you all must be... What was it? Avalanche. And don't you forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd, you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what is your name? Not. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth. Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves y'all right. And such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra's the vermin for killing the planet. Guess they make you- th oh my god. Guess that make you King Vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. 
I'm a very, I'm a very busy man. So if you'll excuse me, I have dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for all, for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in, for f in future experiments. Techno soldier. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President! Yo, not. We've got to do something about him. Help, not. This is from Soldier. No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust him up. All right, boss music. Trying to remember what is the strategy with this guy. Oh shit, do I have any magic equipped? Not on Barrett at least. Bolt, yeah. Ouch. Uh, you know what? As much as I love playing this game as it was intended to be played, with the with the same restrictions as it had back in the day, this is a little too slow for me. So I am going to power up my characters and make the speed times three. Look at that, Tifa was almost dead, and I saved her by cheating. I'm in it for the story, okay? It doesn't have to be pretty gameplay. I'm just, you know, I want to move on. And I did. I refuse to be ashamed. It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Not, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? Be strong. Mm. You worry about yourselves. I'm alright, but take care of Tifa. Alright, sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. Oh no, Cloud. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? Huh? 
You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed. Is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. Hmm? So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? <laughs> yeah, I remember you. You're the slum drunk. Haha. <laughs> no. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing. You just... You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I gotta check on my flowers. It'll just be a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Just as flat as ever. Some JPEG over here. Just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... I'm at least going to correct it. Um... Her name is a translation error. It should be Aerith. But they, uh, made Aerith's causing... Whoop. Causing the biggest confusion for everyone who has played it. There we go. I'm Aerith, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's knocked. I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades? Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Okay. You're just gonna stand here in awkward silence now? Sorry, bad timing on my part. Not. Don't let it get to you. The dialogue in this game doesn't always make sense. Say not. Have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? He didn't deny it. I don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. I know you. 
Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinner Spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't go fighting here, you'll ruin the flowers. The exit, uh, the exit is back here. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right, come on, get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers, like I just did. You just stepped on them yourself, they're ruined. You're gonna catch holy hell! There they are, over there. Knocked, that one. I know, looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Aerith, this way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The Ancient is getting away. Attack, attack. Yag! Aerith. Think we killed them? They never should have fought us. Knocked! Help me! Oh shit. Damn. What's that? Hmm. Hold on a minute. Uh... Push barrel. Shit. Oh, not. What are you doing? Sorry, Aerith. I was trying to do the right move. But at least you're a good fighter. This is uh, again, and this time, hopefully, it'll be the right one. It has to be this one, right? Yeah! Thanks, Noct! Maybe this one next? Knocked help! Yep, definitely this one. Bye! Woo! How am I getting into fights? What are you? They were strangely adorable. Come on up here, girl. Eric, this way. What 
think I... Yep, went to the wrong one. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm? The Turks are, Shinra, are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Let's go roof hopping. Wait, wait, I said. Puff, wheeze. Slow down. Don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, not? Were you ever a soldier? I used to be. How'd you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's a sign of those who have been infused with Mako. A mark of a soldier. But how do you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Woo, finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, really? The church? We did all that jumping and we just took two steps away. That's silly. Ew, what is that? It looks like a tapeworm combined with a spider. Yeah. Bonk. A good team. Say boy. All right, and I think I'm going to call that an episode. I forgot just how awkward. Some of the dialogue can be because of the uh, translation errors and just overall outdatedness to it. But in a way, that's charming. It can be a little hard to read sometimes, especially with someone of my reading ability. And, you know, I get confused when a conversation is normal. But when you throw in mismatched words and stuff like that, eh, it's too much for my tiny brain. But be that as it may, I'm loving this game, and I'm loving playing it again, and I hope you enjoy watching it. So thank you everyone for tuning in, I appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next episode. Later!